happening in the next few days around the area. So joining me today is Curtis Dickoff, the Executive Director for Revival Prayer Fellowship, which is a National Day of Prayer representative, and he's here to tell us all about it and what the events are happening. So good morning to you, Curtis. Good Thanks morning. Thanks for coming here. It's, Appreciate it. It's wonderful to be here. So tomorrow is a big day. Yes. National Day of Prayer, and you have a couple events kind of floating around town. Yeah, absolutely. And I think you do too also on Thursday or Friday as well, a couple of days, right? Yep, we have Wednesday, May 3rd. Wednesday and Thursday. Yep. Okay, Wednesday yep. and Thursday. Yep. So the first one, what is it? Well, we're going to, I've, I've traveled the state, I've been seeing all the courthouses. Mm -hmm. and praying in courthouses and praying with people there. And for the officials that have been seated in authority, they're just praying God's, yeah. you know, blessing on them. So, so on Wednesday morning at 830, I'm going to be at Morton County Courthouse. And we were gathering some folks there, and, and I'm going to pray there at 830. At 10 o'clock, I'll be here at the Burley County Courthouse. And then that evening, mm -hmm. the very first ever youth prayer community gathering yeah. is called Together. <laughs> that makes sense, right? Yeah, it does. So, uh, that one caught my guard or caught my eye too because it's led by high school students yes. so then assisted by adults and it's good to see this thing happening in a public school yep. let alone a private school and yep. so I think that's fascinating and so what is it going to be a church service? Is it going to be um, worship? What's all? The great question. Yeah. I, think, I think to describe it, first of all, it's been exciting to meet the teenagers. Yeah that there are, we, there are Bible studies in the major high schools in, in Bismarck and Dan. Mm -hmm. And to meet those young people has been a thrill yeah. to see their heart and just, <laughs> you know, the, and how their leadership has just stepped up so much. So that's been such a thrill for me. But yeah, and to meet together, we're trying to work with a bunch of different groups uh, to bring this together because there will be worship mm -hmm. and there will be prayer okay. and there will be... Uh, um, and we're going to do small groups. I mean, it's not going to be a one head praying. It's going to be, we're going to try and get these kids engaged mm -hmm. to still pray together, maybe for the very first time. Absolutely. You know, and I so we're that. trying to cross a lot of boundaries and, and because our kids need, they need to know they're not alone especially in their faith because mm -hmm. it's sometimes, you know, our world is not easy to live right. in, you know. It's daunting. I grew up Christian, still yeah. am, of yeah. course. Yeah. And so I think as a girl who's a teenager growing up mm -hmm. and then you see what's going on in the yeah. outside world, right. it's scary. And then you go to public school too. Yep. It's different. It is. Absolutely. So that gathering is at Century High School uh, tomorrow at 7 o'clock. Yes. Third. Okay. Yes. Awesome. Yes. So yes. Uh, then there's something happening at the Capitol May 4th. So that's Thursday. Yep. What's uh, that one about? May 4th, National Day of Prayer, noon at the Capitol Memorial Hall. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got a wonderful special guest musicians, the Craigans. Uh, if you <laughs> if you can go on there, we have some of their. Yeah. You see, and they are in a phenomenal. They just. There's something about them that I, I've met numbers of musicians and singers, but these folks are special. And they'll sing a medley that'll blow your mind. Oh, awesome. Um, and uh, we have other pastors and so on that are going to be uh, leading, and, and not all pastors, in fact, a lot of business leaders mm -hmm. and people that represent several different, several different uh uh, prayer needs in our, in our country. Absolutely, because everybody needs prayer. Oh, so man. the Absolutely. whole city's gathered, the whole state is gathered, and like you said, you traveled across all 53 counties uh, since the beginning of the year, I believe, right. and so right. just spreading the word, and that, I think that is awesome. And so if you can't make that one, because that one is at noon at the Capitol yep. on Thursday, there is another one later on the evening at the... Um, North Dakota Heritage Center. Mm, there we go. Okay, Russell there's Reed. a lot yeah. going on here, so I'm losing track. But yeah, it's just yeah. phenomenal. So tell me a little bit more about that one. Oh uh, well, you know, uh, because of the noon thing is only, is limited. Uh, uh, we're, we've gone this second route because there are a lot of people who can't come, and so we're doing it at the Russell Reed. It's a beautiful facility. It's got a huge screen. We're gonna the mm -hmm. Craigans are gonna do a mini concert uh, right right away at 6:30. And at 7, we're going to uh, break into the National Day of Prayer live streaming from Washington, D.C., which is, is uh, going to be exciting because yeah. we want people to know here in Bismarck that across this country, there are millions of people praying mm -hmm. for our country, and yeah. we need it. Every person I ask in all these courthouses, I say, our country's in, not in such good shape. Right. And everybody that I've talked to said, you are right. Mm -hmm. And so how is that going to change? 
And you know, if we, power and we of prayer. Yep, that's yeah. exactly right. Thank and, you. And so we're down to a minute here, Curtis. And okay. the theme of this year's National Day of Prayer is pray fervently in righteousness and much avail. And so you brought a couple of brochures right. and stuff. And you know, there's just, it's gonna be a powerful two days, not just in the state of North Dakota. Again, you could go visit right. those events, uh, but across the country, like yep. you said. And I mm -hmm. think we're gonna put some information up on the screen, okay. but in the meantime, where can we find maybe uh, the events and contact information? Well, you know, National Day of Prayer, that'll, that'll be a general, a very general uh, uh, website. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't have a lot locally. Yeah. Uh, if, you, if you type in Together on Facebook, you'll get a cute, mm -hmm. very cute little clip there. And there's uh, maybe a tad more information on the Together Facebook thing, but we don't have a lot of other stuff okay. out there. So you can call me, you know, my phone number, if it's up there, fine. Uh, you know, we're, we're just hoping people will show up. Yeah, and, and, and I know they will. Of all faiths, yeah. of all faiths. Yeah, absolutely. And so I think, again, it's going to be a powerful next couple of days spread <laughs> across the United States. Thank you uh, so much. Curtis, we want to thank you for coming on here. Oh, what a again. privilege. Thank of you, Heidi. Course. Thank you. Keep it here. We're going to talk about your weather forecast.